I don't know how much further you want to go back. The first seeds of this were when he started doing the Bronstein games. In my dreams. You can play one person. And that was a big intellectual leap. Let's each control a personal character. Gary Gygax was the biggest adherent of amateur game design. He designed so many games. This is a guy who had six kids. Family was very important to him. Dave Arneson had a love for history. He has something pretty neat, and Gary wants to know more about it. An adventure party is a family, and Gary engendered family everywhere he went. It's this moment of great promise. did for games what Einstein did to physics and changed the world. This was a time of cultural upheaval and political upheaval in America. It was a good escape. There's this exchange back and forth of these creative forces. We slaved away in the basement in the old gray house for three years and now we're making money. It is a group of friends and family members trying to make this thing work. The company is clearly growing beyond their ability. All these guys that have been buddies. Once it was clear what the stakes were, we see a change. Gary went out to Hollywood. His partners basically wanted to exile him. Everyone I want to make movies. I want to make this is bigger brand than Star Wars. It was really interesting to find the appropriate mansion for Dungeons and Dragons. Playing Little Wars teaches you what a great and blundering thing great war must be. Gary carried those people with him, and they followed. He owns a minority of the shares. He's not in charge of the show anymore. Lawsuits start to come out. These two guys were sort of sent into the woods. They couldn't stay with the product that they both loved. There are a lot of stories about what happened. People with the money controlled TSR. And the people with the heart lost it. The reality is much more complicated than we can imagine. These young men are being drawn into this conflict. And soon they're going to be drawn into a real war. Fantasy becomes reality. We are evil, all the men. Yes, it's